Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Illinois Stories. I'm Mark McDonald in Quincy. At 1419 Locust, at the infamous Moncton Mansion. Now, people in Quincy know this. Some, some of them know it as the Capone House. And Leo Moncton, that owned this house from the 1930s on for a long time, did have a very, uh, a very questionable career, and we'll learn more about him as we go. But this house is remarkable. It was built right at the end of the Civil War, may, had many owners, and now the latest owners, the royalties, have had it for three years, and they are doing some remarkable restoration to the house. Now, we come to this house today because this is part of the annual Quincy Preserves Home Tour. It happens in October, and this house is going to be on that tour. And Chuck McLean, you're a member of Quincy Preserves. Um, these tours really help your organization, don't they? Without a doubt, we normally get uh, 500 to 1,000 people through these tours, and at 15 bucks a head, you know, we do raise a good mm -hmm. amount of money for them which we use for our other programs uh, in the city of Quincy yeah. and Adams County. Like, like what? what? What does Quincy Preserves do? How do you use those resources? Well, we have basically we give gifts and our grants to other organizations that uh, are involved with historic preservation, architecture, uh, keeping up and so forth. We also give scholarships to uh, high school students and we also, our biggest thing I think is what we call our facade program where there's a 12 block area of downtown Quincy, mm -hmm. which we have a program where if owners want to redo the facade or the front street side of a structure, we can give them up to 25% cost as a gift mm -hmm. and then a very low interest loan for another 25%. So monetarily, it's a big benefit for homeowners and in probably in the last 10 years or so, we've donated about $175,000 to that program alone. Mm -hmm. Before we go into this house, let's just take a look at it from the outside here because it's this is one of the few chances we'll get. Uh, there, it's wonderful, isn't it, to see a couple buy a house like this, oh, and, this and undertake this? This is just such a such a, a relief to, to have such a, a beautiful place in Quincy that you could tell over the years is starting to go downhill, but then have somebody come in yeah. and take so much interest and do so much and try to retain so much of the history mm -hmm. of it also. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, thank you for what you and everybody at Quincy Preserves does. This is going to be a very interesting program. This, this house is going to be a jewel, I think. Uh, it, when yeah. they're finished with it, it's yeah. going to be unbelievable. Yeah. Thanks. People at Quincy are going to be astounded. <laughs> okay. Good. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Mark. Well, Larry Royalty, three years ago, when you and, and, and your wife, Sue, Susan's your wife's name, right? Susan, Correct, yeah. bought this place. Did you have any idea how much work it was going to take to, to restore oh, it? I had a good idea. It was going to take a lot, a lot of <laughs> well, work. Well, you're an and electrician, a lot of money, right? And you've been doing this kind of stuff for a while. Yeah. 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 But you really wanted it. Yes, yeah. I enjoy it. And uh, we restored an older home out in Clayton. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm slowing down at work. I thought, well, it'd be something to do, you know. I've got a lot to do. For the next 20 years. But uh, <laughs> In the old days, when they would drive up here, this was built in the 1860s, like we mentioned. And yes. of course, there were no cars. They had carriages Correct. then. Correct, yeah. And, and a, a person that owned a house like this would have probably a number of carriages. Yes. But I've never seen this before. This is so neat because they built a yeah. stone carriage step. Yes. This is just the right height, isn't it? Yeah, they would yeah, step up here and then step into their carriages. Isn't from, that from perfect, here, yeah. okay. And then of course for the for the others that, that weren't in the carriage, they would yeah. walk up those yeah. steps. So let's just walk up here okay. and uh, see this porch. It's a, it's a magnificent porch. Needs a little help because it's got some waves in it, but yes. um, a, a wraparound porch, yeah. really neat. Correct, yeah, from, from the front to the back. And that's, actually, this will probably be one of the next projects is this porch mm -hmm. floor, I think. What, what will you use? What kind of materials will you actually, use? Actually, I think we're going to fill it with sand and concrete this all the way around then. Well, you've, you've built a porch on the back, which is we concrete, porch, and you'll yes. just keep that. And we'll okay. bring that on around. And we're going to put, we got some new rails to put in here that uh, we I noticed you took all the rails off, and you're, and you're getting those redone, aren't you? Well, they didn't fit correctly. They were just sitting there, actually, uh -huh. when we bought the house, and they would fall over if you leaned against them. So we're using them in the back on the new porch we built, and we're going to replace these in yeah. front then with something Big that fits. pillars. Big pillars. Are they in pretty good shape? They are. This... Actually, all three of these porches need repair, and we started on this, and we put a new rubberized roof on it, took the old metal roof off and built in gutters, which all of them are leaking. But, yeah. uh, so 
that we're in the process of, of restoring oh, yeah. this porch, yeah. You probably keep finding things, right? Oh, yeah. Do. One thing leads to another. Now, they, you don't see entrances, no, doors like this, this very often. This is magnificent entrance and doorway. It really is. Yeah. We can go in, right? Sure. You show the way. Big heavy door. Yeah, wow. it's a beautiful, beautiful door. It is beautiful, and all this cut glass, it's gorgeous. Yes. Yeah. And I, the first thing, of course, you notice is the floor because it looks. I mean, are they working on this? Yeah, we're actually refinishing the floors in the this parlor and the dining room, this hallway, and the small hallway to the back, mm -hmm. which is uh, majority of the wood floors that we're going to have exposed. But this and what they were carpeted. We tore all the carpeting up. And then there was paint all over them where they had just dropped paint because yeah. they knew they were going to carpet them, I guess. But we're refinishing. We took all the radiators out, and then we had the radiator pipe holes to fill in with wood. So Are these old floors? This, Yeah, they're, they're old. This is an original. This is a walnut and then a white oak, a walnut and a white oak. So it's a, going to give wow. a striped floor. Okay, so. that was wondering why. I mean, I, 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 I thought it was different kinds of wood, but yeah, yeah that's really neat. And the others are all just quarter mm -hmm. sewn white oak floor. Mm -hmm. uh, not bad though, not bad. No, they were good, yeah. Um, okay, good so, so for off this main, this, this main hall, you've got two parlors and they're very similar, aren't they? Yeah, this same one, in size. This one's got all your stuff in it and we're not gonna go yes. in there because it's very cluttered, but, but you live here now, so you have to right. put your stuff somewhere while right. you're doing the floors, right? right? And then so. of course there's a, big, there's a big doorway to a porch out there. Yes. But then in here, uh, this is the same size but you get an idea of what the twin, right? The, the twin parlors. And then look these like. room, we've got the walls all patched and painted. Uh, mm -hmm. We sprayed all the, the woodwork, the cold molding, oh my the baseboard. Goodness, look at the size of these windows. And then we put replacement windows in this actually first first level all the way around. Uh -huh. um, so and now oh. they're twelve foot ceilings and ten foot windows. Wow. Yeah, yeah you just don't see floor to ceiling windows. No, that no. that's just. And, and, and the woodwork, while it's not fancy, look how substantial it yeah. is. I mean, it's big. It's mm -hmm. heavy, heavy wood. Yeah. Eight Beautiful. fireplaces in the house, all marble. And, and um, as far as you know, these are probably original, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I'm sure they were, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And do any of them work? Can you burn wood in any of they them? They probably would. I mean, yeah. they're... You'll have to figure that yeah. out. Huh? <laughs> we, I don't think we will, but uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure they, uh, they're okay. still open up through the roof. Oh, and this is... An, immense room. Now what was, what was this used for? This is a dining room off the, off the kitchen. This is the door to the kitchen. Wow. This is where the big chandelier hung, which we've taken down. It's like in a hundred pieces, but we're cleaning it and getting ready to put it back Do you know up. what era the chandelier was from? Uh, Mr. Monkton bought it in the probably 30s or okay. 40s maybe. Uh, my wife would know, yeah. but it was uh, Queen Elizabeth had three of them, commissioned three of them to be built, and she chose one, sold the other two. This was supposedly one of the other two. Mm -hmm. And it was hanging at the World's Fair in St. Louis, first World's Fair, and then it ended up in a jewelry store, Jacquard's in St. Louis, and then uh, Mrs. Moncton saw it and sent her husband down there, mm -hmm. and he ended up purchasing it. Wow. So it's a beautiful, beautiful chandelier, yeah. but... Uh, and we'll get it back up as soon as we get these floors done. And There's another marble fireplace. Yes. And see, that's, that's really, that's got a yeah. very different They're look and texture to it. They're all white except this one. Is, mm -hmm. uh, and then look at this fancy stuff over here, yes. boy. And he actually had another entrance from the, from the carriage area into the In dining here, room. Right. That's kind of unusual. Yeah. Beautiful glass. Yes. Wow. This is, this is pretty royal. <laughs> Well, Susan, we're about to enter the kitchen area of the house, but between this and there, there was there was this back stairway, which I guess the help used, huh? Mm -hmm. Up, upstairs, there's a, yeah. a small bedroom up there, and uh, there's this house has so many stories. If we look just over your shoulder up here, we can see that it looks like it's been in a fire. What happened? It's been on fire several times, and one owner tried to do it twice, and he went to prison for it at one point in 1911. Tried to burn his own house down. Tried to burn it down. Why? Uh, insurance money, I guess. Oh, okay. All right. So he's in, he went to prison for... Yes. <laughs> okay, well, that's, that's what you get. And you enter this... Now, what you've done is... Well, you got a blend of the new and the old in here. This used to be, I guess, a sun porch? Yes. Yeah, it was a sunroom. There were stairs to the basement over here. Uh -huh. This was a door and a window. What, now, what, point that to, uh, what was the door this, and the window? This opening was a door and a window. Oh, okay. We took All out right. in between and made the opening bigger. And, uh -huh. 
took out windows and put new windows and doors in. And we, we looked at a room from the other side and there was a huge window there, which you've removed, and that would have looked out or let <laughs> light in from the sun porch over yes. in that wall, huh? Mm -hmm. So, so this is this is all new. The sun porch is gone, and this whole room is new. The, we used the foundation from the sun porch; uh -huh. it had a concrete floor, but the rest of it is yeah. pretty much new. Yeah, and then and then out there, you've built an, another new porch, and we're going to mm -hmm. go outside and see all the work that you've done. You've got porches and garage. You've got all new stuff <laughs> all around this old place. Okay, let's go into the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> this was two rooms. This okay. brick wall, I think originally at some point was the exterior wall, and it came all the way across. There was a big flue in here. Okay, which so we this was out. this was this was two rooms. Mm -hmm. What was what was there? This one was set up as a kitchen, and that one was set up as a kitchen with a sink and some cabinets in it. Why in the world would anybody do that? I assume one maybe was a serving kitchen, and the other one was where they. But there was no way to get. There was no door. There was no way to just get. Just over in the corner. Okay, yeah. so, so it was two separate rooms and you weren't going to expect it to cross from one to the other. But you've got a huge kitchen now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And this, is this still part of the original, this is still part of the original house we're in? Yes, yeah. this part, from this wall over, the outside wall was two bricks thick. And from that direction on, it was three bricks mm -hmm. thick. Mm -hmm. So we had to build a wall inside it to make everything come out right. And then we had to level the floors and level the ceilings and mm -hmm. yeah, but now you've and you've got new floors in here now. Yes. Uh, were, were they rotted? Were they? Not really, but they had linoleum and things on top of the wood, mm -hmm. and they didn't meet each other and they mm -hmm. weren't level. So we used that self-leveling cement. So it's about half wood and half cement by the time mm -hmm. we leveled it up. And then we put a floating engineered floor, engineered uh -huh. hardwood over mm -hmm. the top of it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And then there's a swinging door there to that immense dining room that we yes. saw. That's over there. So uh -huh. when you get that um, in, in, in uh, you know, furnished, then you'll be using that door, right? Yes. Okay. And then now we're still in the old, we're in the old house, mm -hmm. but here where you've added your, your master, this is not the old house. You added this on. Part of it. Uh -huh. About two thirds of it was part of that sunroom. The, this wall was not here. And then the rest of it we added on. When we added mm -hmm. on the garage, we just squared it off with this area. Mm -hmm. So then we could add the, make the bedroom bigger and added a bathroom and mm -hmm. closet in the back there. Can we go in the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of walking around space back in this bathroom, <laughs> I'll tell you what. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's amazing. Look at that old window. Did you find that's that window? That's not old. Oh, it's not that's, old. No, that's new. It looks like it matches the front, uh -huh. the front door window. That's really nice. Yeah. And then you've got this huge shower. I don't know if we can turn on the light in there. Look at that little walk-in shower. What was it your, your grandson said that you could wash your car in there? Yeah, you your he car calls it the car wash. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Okay, and then that's just a closet there? Yes, the big walk-in oh, closet. Man. This is beautiful. And then you have, okay, so there's one bedroom on this floor. Yes. And then you have other bedrooms upstairs. There's five upstairs. There's five up there. How many are you going to use? Probably all five at Christmas you will. time. At some point you'll use all. Use Every all. other year all the royalties come to Christmas and uh -huh. there'll be over 50. Well, so you, you need 7,000 square feet <laughs> yeah. then, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Can we go upstairs? Uh-huh. Well, Susie, this kind of gives you, gives us some kind of an idea of what you were dealing with when you came up, came up here the first time, right? The floors, yes. the floors needed some help, didn't they? What are you going to be able to do with them? Are you going to be able to sand them uh, and just bring them back, or? We're probably going to end up having to carpet these up here. They're not in as good a shape mm -hmm. as what's downstairs. They're pretty and the nicked up. The back part is even worse. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and you can see now. This is as we look behind us. We probably won't go back here, but looking down there, that's there's two bedrooms down that hall. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. And, and those are two are, that you haven't finished yet. Right. Okay. All right. Well, let's see what you have done. This matches the chandelier downstairs as you come in the front hall, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Oh, and before we leave here, too, this is, it's hard to find windows. I mean, we, floors, we were six months floor to ceiling finding windows, right? that size. Yes. And so you've replaced with new. And, mm -hmm. and, and even then, you can see at the bottom, you can't quite get them long enough, right? Right. So you yeah. had to raise them up a little bit. Boy, that's a, that's a chore. 
Now this room, they really took good care of this room, didn't they? Yes, this we haven't one, done anything in this room. Look, I it love the good size of these rooms. I mean, it's just a nice, big, big room. You can really, like you say, you sleep two or three people in here. It's really mm -hmm. nice. These marble, uh, eight marble fireplaces, I think Larry said, and yes. we have another one in mm -hmm. here. This is really nice. So it looked like this when you, when you bought the house, this room looked like yes, this. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. We just cleaned in here. Mm -hmm. Wow, but that was a relief, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the floor's in very good shape. Very good shape. And that immense, those immense window casings again that you, that you get in this house. Wow. Now this one you weren't quite so lucky on, were you? You had to do a little bit of work in here. No, you it have just to had do? plywood on the floor. We're, we patched plaster and painted and put the carpeting in. Yeah. And this room had the murals of the goddesses in it, and they needed plaster, plaster patching too. Uh huh. And we're looking and at was it these these walls yes, over here? Yes, they were on both sides of that oh, window okay. and over the okay. fireplace. And, and uh, okay, and so you decided that you were going to paint over those. Yes, we have pictures of them. We debated about it for a long time, but <laughs> we didn't want to explain to our grandkids all the time. And they were they, they were nude. So, yes. Yeah. And they, they, there was a lot of patching to be done over them, too. Mm -hmm. They had been repainted quite a bit uh -huh. to, to uh -huh. have left them. So we just painted over them. Yeah. And, and this, this, this room had some, uh, s some gossip and rumors attached to it, Yes, too, this it? was referred to as the mayor's room. But <laughs> so, one of the rooms where they entertained. <laughs> one of the mayors had his, got his kicks here, huh? Okay. And again, a beautiful marble fireplace. This is kind of nice. You could find a piece that big. Because yes, you've got to have a house this big for, for that, a piece yeah. like that. That's really nice. This room, I forgot to tell you, had a mural all the way around it at one point of a hunting scene. We have some pictures of it too, but when we bought it, all that was left was just a little bit over the mantle mm -hmm. and it was in really bad shape too. Uh -huh. so. Okay. And again, you got kind of lucky with the, no, well, actually, you know, you, you, you carpeted it because I guess the floor was in questionable yes. condition, but the walls were. And we had the to patch were, the plaster, but yeah. for as old as the house is, they really weren't in too bad a shape. Yeah, you expect to have to do something, yeah. don't you? Just really, really nice. So, okay, and, and then the two, the two bedrooms we're not going to see, they're, they're unfinished and you have a lot of work to do with yes. those yet. Mm -hmm. Debbie Royalty, th throughout this program, we've made many mentions of the Monktons and, and, and everybody in Quincy is aware of the fact that there were some suspicious activities going on in this house, it's particularly during the 30s, because Leo Moncton bought the house in the 30s and he was a, a, apparently an underworld figure. You have been doing quite a bit of homework though. I mean, you have your own, you have your own book of sources here, and for the last three years, when when Larry and Susan bought this place, you've been making clip, uh, doing clippings and collecting stories, and you've really got a lot of information here. Well, um, it's interesting we, that that uh, he must have, have if if he was a, a criminal of some type, he must have been pretty good at it because there's not a lot of evidence that he ever gotten in any trouble for no, it, is there? No. Um, no, it's been fascinating. It's something that I never thought we would end up doing, but like I said, it would just be, if we would go out, um, there was always someone from our area who would t say, oh, you're helping with that house, uh, the Moncton house. Mm -hmm. All right, let me tell you this story. Uh -huh. And so we just, one story has built upon another and, um, and told us, you know, a lot of the history about this house, which has made it kind of infamous, I yeah. guess you'd say. The, the, the story that everybody has heard is that Capone was a visitor to this house, Al Capone, yes. the Chicago underworld figure. And of course, nobody can prove that, right? No. But a lot of people have seen a photograph of him here. Yes. Yes. We, we've had several people approach us and previous owners of the house and told them that they remember seeing a picture of Al Capone on the front steps of um, this house and it was hanging in a tavern that Leo Moncton owned at one time. Mm -hmm. And so we have not been able to recover that photo yet. We would love to, mm -hmm. but um, that's why we're always asking if anyone else has information about this house, we would love to add it to uh, what we've mm -hmm. compiled. The word was that there was prostitution going on here, that there were slot machines uh, installed here and that there was a secret phone, a secret landline that Moncton could get to if he wanted to to uh, conduct business. What about the phone? What's that story? Well, we were talking with the realtor who sold the house for the Monktons, and she said when she was getting the tour, Mrs. Moncton showed her a tree, and she said you could see this phone up in the tree, and her wife, uh, Mildred, told her that um, her husband had had that 
phone installed because he thought that his phones in the house were being bugged mm -hmm. and he wanted to make uh, his um, business calls private and he um, that's why he would go mm -hmm. out in the tree and talk on the phone when, mm -hmm. whenever he had business to take care of. <laughs> well listen, good luck in, in furthering your studies on this and, and I, I hope you find that Capone picture. Will you call me if you find I that will. Capone picture? I will. Be, believe me, <laughs> it'll be pretty exciting. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Larry, there's a lot of old and a lot of new here. Yes. You've done a lot in three years. You can see where you've adjoined this to the old, uh, the old uh, original part of the house. Right. This is, uh, we were inside uh, talking to your sister-in-law mm -hmm. in that room right there. It's mm -hmm. a new room and then you've, you've built this whole porch and this whole, what is, what is, what is all this? Well, this was a sunroom. It had siding on it with kind of a lean-to roof and it uh -huh. looked like it had been added on. So we took the roof completely off and redid the pitch and then took the siding off and bricked it, and uh -huh. uh, then built this porch on. We've actually got to finish this yet, but uh -huh. in the railings. But uh, and, and where does that go back to? What does that go back well, to? And then this is the bathroom, the master bath and bedroom, but then there's a, and uh, the garage is on the other side. That's right. the new garage, right. yeah. Okay, and then you've painted, it's not kind of neat the way you've painted this brick. You were able to really very closely match right. the house. And really. I think the, they told us the old brick is stained or painted, so. Uh, mm -hmm. We, we, yeah, we just matched it, so. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And it uh, don't look so much like it's been added on now. It looks like no, it's yeah. always been part oh, of it. It's, yeah. it's great yeah. work. And then, I like this down here. You didn't have to do this, but the Monktons, I guess, built yeah. built this down here. This Correct. A, you can't have enough fireplaces, can you, Larry? <laughs> oh, no, got plenty <laughs> you got, of wood. You got eight in the house, and now yeah. you got another one out here. This yeah. is terrific. And when, a nice big lot. Yeah, four, four and a half acres it sits on. Mm -hmm. So, uh, really right in the middle of town, so it, uh, it is a nice lot, yeah. Okay, so so you've added this is this is all new. You've also added. See, I'm looking at this building over here. That there used to right. be a shed there. No, there never was a shed there. We just we built that. Uh, it, it was just it was just a wooded area actually. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. yeah. And what do you use it for? Well, I've got woodworking tools in this end and some old cars in the other end. Some old cars. Yeah. Another story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't have time today. No, but we'll come back. Okay, but we're going to walk around because you're doing a lot more on the other side too. Correct. Okay, let's do that. Well, Larry, okay, now we've just gotten to the other side of the house, and this is where the garage was, right? There was a garage right, here. Right, an old carriage house there. It was attached, yeah. but it was in really bad shape. Yeah. Um, it wasn't really usable for today's cars. You mm -hmm. couldn't get a, a big car in there, so, yeah. and the bricks were crumbling, so we tore that down, and then we actually cleaned, saved all the bricks, cleaned the old brick, about 8,000 of them, and then rebricked the new garage with that older brick. No kidding, you had enough. Brick. You had enough to we do that. We had enough for two sides, and the, the uh, east side we, we bought brick for yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it matches beautifully. Yeah. You know, it looks really great. And what about the doors? The uh, overhead doors? Yeah. We, we had those put in. They were actually... Because they look old. Yeah, they, they are not, but uh, yeah. they were sliding doors before and very heavy and hard to get open, yeah. but uh, these are... Yeah, just more period style. They seem door. to match really yeah. nicely. Mm -hmm. And and this another porch. You put another porch. Yeah, we in added. Here. This we wasn't did add, here, was it? No, there, it wasn't. There was five actually five long windows in these kitchens, and we raised them, raised the sail brick under them, and then put a door in. Added this porch, so it wraps actually all the way around to the front. Mm -hmm. A continual porch. So and then we wanted a place where we could get from out of the kitchen barbecue and uh, mm -hmm. end up with our grill over here and. Uh, mm -hmm. And so, and this is now I'm looking at this these uh, uh, blocks here. You're yes. gonna you're gonna brick around those. Right. Well, we actually got brick ordered. That's why we're waiting on. But he's got the ties here, and that'll get bricked, uh -huh. so it'll all blend into the rest of this porch yeah. coming around here. I, yeah. I'd like to be your brick contractor. I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to have that job. Yeah. Okay. So you poured your, all your new concrete here for your new right. garage, right. and you can see when you have an old house this big and this old. You've got a lot of stuff to take care of. All of this came from, I guess, from the porch, huh? Is that where right, all this? Right. And it needs to be repaired? All well, of we're going to power wash them and paint them. They never were painted, and uh -huh. uh, yeah. And then, yeah, some of them do need repaired, so. You must have a lot of help. On I this. do. Actually, we wouldn't be where we were today. We've got good friends, Angie and uh, Jordan Elmore and Shirley and Bill Alexander. They help us all the time, yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, and, and Bill is very handy and uh, enjoys it, so he's he's over here a lot. And uh, yeah. yeah, we 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 couldn't we wouldn't be where we were if the, you know we didn't have. Did, those did they have to twist your it. arm to get you to open this house for this tour that's coming up? Well, 
my wife, more or less her idea, and I uh, I went along with it. Mm -hmm. I, I kept saying we weren't ready, you know, it's, yeah. it's not ready for a tour, but uh, the uh, people said, oh no, you know, they'd like to see it in progress, and mm -hmm. we'll come back in four or five years and see it finished, so. That, that's great, now, as, as we were here today, they're, they're sanding the, the, the floor to the parlor and the dining room, and they're gonna right. cure, that's gonna, they're gonna have to, that's gonna have to cure them. Yeah, they're the... gonna put a, a Swedish finish, they say, that mm -hmm. gets really hard, but yeah, they'll give it two coats, and then okay. by Saturday, this, uh, this is Wednesday, by Saturday we can get in on that. Yeah, okay. Tuesday, I guess it is. Okay, yeah. and, then, uh, and then that part will be behind you, okay? Yes, yeah. we'll put the chandelier back up, and then the furniture yeah. in those two rooms, they'll be done, yeah. so. Okay. I, something tells me, Larry, you may never be done. done. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of people say that. You wouldn't want to be an old old fellow and start this project. <laughs> Listen, thanks for letting us come in. You're sure welcome. Really appreciate Enjoy it. it. Yeah. Um, now, that, as you know, they, they've owned this house for three years. And I asked Larry, I said, well, do you think you'll be finished in three years? And he goes, mm, probably not finished. But he says, I do have a goal. He says, I want to have that upstairs bedroom and that upstairs bathroom finished by Christmas. With another Illinois story in Quincy, I'm Mark McDonald. Thanks for watching. Illinois Stories is brought to you by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the support of viewers like you. Thank you. For a DVD copy of the program you've just seen, send 1995 to Network Knowledge, P.O. Box 6248, Springfield, Illinois 62708. Be sure to include the program name, subject, and when the program aired. You can also order with your credit card by calling 800-232-3605.